The MLB has found themselves in yet another baseball scandal. After all the previous smoke about the league juicing baseballs, MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred assured us that those days were behind us, and moving forward there would be only one singular ball used in 2022. Well, I guess we're good then. Surely if the commissioner makes a statement, then we as fans should be able to trust that the problem has been solved and- OH MY GOD, WHAT IS THAT?! Three different types of baseballs were used during the 2022 season. We've got dead, juiced, and what's being called Goldilocks balls because they fall right in the middle. And the craziest part, these Goldilocks balls didn't turn up just anywhere. Nope. Of the 200 plus baseballs sampled, these hitter-friendly balls only turned up at commemorative event games, the postseason, and Yankees games. What? Does this mean that the league manufactured Aaron Judge's home run race? For views? But wait. If the league was secretly using Goldilocks balls in Yankees games to help Aaron Judge reach that magical 62 home runs, then what's your excuse, guys? <laughs> the boys and I have gathered all the facts on this developing story, and we are going to break it all down for you in this video. So, if you're looking for the scoop on juiced baseballs, then look no further than baseball juice. I think the biggest issue with this whole thing is not that there were different weights of balls used. I think it's the specific places that it's being used in. Were they being used in Yankees games just because Aaron Judge was on a big home run chase? Were they being used in Yankees games because they're the biggest market in baseball? I kind of lean on the side that this doesn't really fall on the Yankees. I don't think the Yankees organization really had a whole lot to do with using these specific baseballs. I think the real issue lies with the MLB like not being public about about experimenting with the baseballs. There's really no reason to withhold that information from the public unless you have something to hide. And, and that's a good point, because I do want to say that while this report is interesting and scary, it's not definitive. Like, we can't say for certain that the MLB is putting balls in games that they want home runs to be hit. We do have a small sample size. It was only around 200 baseballs. The biggest issue is that there is not that transparency. It feels like the league is trying to hide something is kind of why it's becoming a bigger deal than it would be if they just came out and said, like, the truth. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're having Manfred come out and say that it's objectively false, the findings from Meredith Wills, and then in the same breath, you can't have him explain why. Asked to explain how he knew Wills' research was incorrect, Manfred replied, Honestly, I can't help you on that one. And on top of that, to further prove your point, the fact that he is has publicly said that he's going to fire employees, like MLB employees that supply baseballs to Will's research, it's pretty suspect if you ask me. I don't know, man. That's the other thing that she, I mean, they've got reps out there making it harder for her to obtain. So yeah, we've got the small sample size, but you got to ask why that is. I mean, she's got to go out of her way and buy balls from fans or get them however she can right so she's on to something and if there really is no smoke here i mean why are they giving us the illusion that there is smoke like it's it's either incompetence or they're up to something and neither one of them are good for the game so one thing i, I want to clear up too because the first time i heard this come out i was a little confused on it i had to dig deeper into it i thought okay if there's three balls being used the dead flies the least that was predominantly used in 2022 games. The juice ball flies the best, and then this Goldilocks one is in the middle. I thought, well, if they want to increase home runs, then why not give Aaron Judge the juice balls? Why were they giving him this middle tier? Of the 204 baseballs that were uh, researched by Wills, only six were juiced. And these juice balls were manufactured before the 2021 season, and we can verify that mm. from the batch code on the ball. I mean, how are those finding their way into games in 2022 in the first place? That's that's beyond me. Which Manfred assured that they wouldn't. He said every ball being used this season was manufactured in 2022. He's at best wrong and at worst lying. Manfred has always been very adamant that all these balls being used fit within the MLB specifications. The thing is, it's a really wide range. I think it can go from like five ounces to five and a half ounces for the weight of a ball. This reporter, Jay Jaff, did research on it. He found that within those two extremes, you could get a 49 foot difference in travel, which is significant. It's really important to talk about how, how does a different weighted baseball actually affect the outcome of the game? I don't think it gives a competitive advantage to either team, but when you're talking about contract negotiations and things, 
If you add four or five home runs onto a player's contract, you can't tell me that they're not earning a fair amount more money than they were beforehand. I think it's even worse on the pitchers. The oh pitchers that have to, you know, like they're talking about how some of these balls feel different in their hands. They can't get as good of a grip on it. We should also post a clip from the Chris Bassett interview because I found that to be really telling as well. The MLB has a very big problem with the baseballs. I mean, they're bad. Everyone knows it. Every pitcher in the league knows it. They're bad. The first inning, they're 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 decent. The third inning, they're bad. The fourth inning, they're okay. The fifth inning, they're bad. There's a million things we suggested to not hurt offense. I know that's why they want nothing on the ball is for offense. And there's ways to do that. They don't want to do it. Now, we're not just talking about baseballs from a specific game, but a specific inning. That's to say that a, a player could hit a foul ball and a pitcher gets back a new ball that feels completely different than the one they were using for the entire inning before that. So that that is a huge problem. I, I wonder if there's somebody telling the ball boy like which balls to take out in a specific inning, knowing that certain players are coming up. If that's the case, then we have a way bigger issue than we first thought, because that that's a real problem. Well, there's MLB representatives that are the ones that give the balls to the ball boy, you know? <laughs> it, from a angle you can kind of understand they're trying to bring more eyes to the game but they're doing it in the worst possible way like you are so much personality into the game i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna just go way off course now but there's so much personality in the game now like we don't have to manufacture any of this i don't get it oh, like, yeah. we're, like, <laughs> like just like just market the stars more like just market them more what what hat are you wearing right now put them every exactly <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got Acuna and Guerrero, and then you got Otani, who's a unicorn. Like, just market them more. Make it easier to access them. Let them show their personality in the field. Stop trying to manufacture with all this racketeering garbage. Dude, backflip on walks. I'm yeah. so here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Walking is hard. Tyler O'Neill proved it. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, everything we've talked about so far, it doesn't really seem that difficult to get right. Right? Let players pimp strikeouts, flip their bats. Let's have some fun, man. For real, man. Let their personalities come through and stop finding them for not being NPCs. Based on the information that we have at this time, do I think that the league is definitively guilty for pulling some sort of strings and, and trying to racketeer the whole game? No. I don't think there's enough from a 200-ball non-random sample to say that. But it does only add more fuel to an already burning fire that's been going on for years. And the way that they're dealing with it is not professional. And it's not instilling confidence in the fans. And I think therein lies the problem. Yeah, I mean, it's like you said. It's like, yeah, we don't have a big enough sample. But what's the lone obstacle to getting a big enough sample? To me, that answers the question. Especially when they can't even provide any semblance of an explanation as to why they're doing that. If there wasn't an issue, I'm sure Manfred would have no problem handing over a bucket of baseballs and saying, here, test these. Yeah, we kind of talked about it a little bit before, but none of the blame, and I mean absolutely zero of the blame needs to fall on the players here, specifically Aaron Judge. That's the player that they were supposedly trying to prop up here with these juice baseballs. It's going to be really interesting to keep an eye on this going into next year. If if this sort of thing flares up again at any point, if we hear some players talking about the differences. It kind of got buried with a lot of the free agency stuff. And, very quickly. Uh, it did. Because that was suspiciously quickly. <laughs> that, that report, the um, research came out, I think like what, a couple hours before the judge contract was signed? Fake signed. Oh, that was before if John Heyman. If you want to talk about a conspiracy. Okay. If you want to talk about a conspiracy. <laughs> yeah. John, John Heyman, Heyman you are tweet. the worst. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Even though we don't have all the answers to our questions, let us know what you think about this whole scandal down in the comments below. We're going to link to the article that broke the news. It's got all the details about the different balls. Um, in the description. If you made it this far in the video, please hit that thumbs up button. We really appreciate any type of engagement that we can get from you guys. Uh, let us know that we're on the right track. Be sure to check out the awesome video that Kyle made on why Trey Turner's contract might not age the best. Also check out our breakdown of the playoff format and we will see you guys in the next video.